Hi everybody, this is Nick Xena on Rock by Wild. Thank you very much for agreeing the interview. First of all, I'd like to talk about your latest album, mm -hmm. uh, You Can't Kill My Rock and Roll. Mm -hmm. So, can you anticipating, uh, anticipate us anything about it? Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's been recorded. It hasn't been mixed, except for the first single, Have Mercy On Me, which we released a month ago, something like that. Uh, second, uh, second single is coming out in December, third single is coming out in February, or something like that, then the record comes out in March or April. That's the, the rough plan kind of thing, but you never know if, if, if it all works out and it's going to be out by March. But that's all. What is your expectation for the album? Um, I just want to, what we wanted to do with it is just to make our brand even stronger. Us being a, a feel good party band. And nothing more, nothing more, nothing less. Just an extremely good, feel good uh, rock and roll life band. And that's, that's the, that was the main objective with the album. The songwriting and then the, the feel of it all. Do you feel that there is enough room for your musical channel in the music scene? Yeah, of course. There's always room for feeling good. Because usually uh, when we talk about feeling good and parties and all this stuff, we think about the 80s and a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So right now there's hardcore superstar, maybe Sid Panther, and Q Airborne. other bands. Yes. Uh, yeah, but uh, I guess people need to feel good again. That's why we're here. <laughs> That's what we hope. <laughs> yeah. So you're from Sweden, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you think it is a better place in I mean, Europe or all over the world, uh, to be a musician rather than all other places. Because usually in Sweden we have a lot of musicians doing rock and metal. Uh, actually, it's a very good question. I, I saw an interview with, uh, I don't remember who, I don't remember who, it wasn't Swedish. It was just a guy explaining why so many good bands come from Sweden. And I thought his explanation was really good. They, he, he pointed out that in Sweden we have a lot of um, there's a lot of money put into rehearsal areas for youth, so it's very easy for us to start a band and get a rehearsal space for no money at all. So they make it very easy for us to to, uh, to play music. That's that's the main reason. I think. It's very easy to start a band and. and uh, try and make, make a living out of it. So it is a problem about money? Well, mainly. I guess uh, not money but priorities. Mm -hmm. I guess people don't think music is that important, no. but I got to Yeah, and uh, is that, I mean, how does a musician in Sweden get in the career? It starts like you say, and then what happens later? Work. That's what happened. You have a, sometimes people people are lucky. Sometimes people have a uh, a good idea about the concept they want to make. Like for example, a ghost band for Sweden as well. Their concept is is just phenomenal, and people everything about it is just just a hit, you know. And people love it. So uh, I guess either you're lucky and just you know, make it without thinking about it, or you have an extremely uh, uh, worked out concept for, for the band, for the album. Do you uh, find it easy to get out of Sweden uh, as a band, I mean? Yes. People are, like you said, there's a lot of Swedish bands around that are very popular in other countries, so, so, uh, People want Swedish bands, so I guess, I guess it's quite easy for us to come out of and play outside of Sweden. Wow. And um, how uh, did your musical research and your musical approach change through all, of, uh, all these years? <clears throat> we always try to make it interesting. 
we have never, we've always been a band that hasn't repeated our stuff. We always make some some differences to the next album, just to make everything interesting for us as well. Because if you get bored, I mean, people people notice that. So so I guess try to evolve, but keep your don't forget who you are. Like we are, we're a party band. Even if we are evolve, what we give people live, that's what we are. And who is the main composer of the song? Uh, everybody writes, but mostly uh, Ade, the drummer, mm -hmm. writes the, the basics, the, the structure of the song, the riffs and the melodies. And then we all get together and uh, arrange the songs and maybe rewrite some stuff. And this is good, this is not good, change that, do that, blah, blah, blah. So it's a very... Um, um, it's a collaboration of us four. Do you ever um, uh, get a fight oh, while yeah. composing? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like all the bands. Uh, I mean, democratic bands. That we, we try to do stuff Everybody, everybody's voice is equally strong in the band. Yeah. Everybody's got an opinion. When it's like that, opinions. But what we are very uh, um, focused about is maintaining the goal, because everybody wants to go to the same direction. I mean, same goal, but directions are different. Yeah. So that's which direction is the best for the band at the moment. And you. You always have the right light. Yeah. Well, we, we At try. the end, I mean. Which, yeah, of course, of course. You have to. <laughs> you have to find a way. It's like water. It's gonna find a way. And do you still feel it is funny as it, oh, yeah. it was at the beginning? Absolutely. That's that's the really cool thing about this band. We, as long as, as soon as the album is done, we're already thinking about the next one. Just thinking about getting involved, getting excited about it. Let's, the kids really, oh, oh, then we're going to do that on stage, we're going to do that and do that. So it's a very creative process with this band. How do you um, put together the writing sessions and the lab sessions? Well, writing sessions, everybody writes at home. So just send files on email and ideas, you know. Uh, but I don't know what you mean with live session. Uh, like tonight you're on tour, and so you're busy with with touring. How do you um, set list? I no no no. I mean as working because you have to do many things. So maybe tonight you'd like to compose or write something, but you're gonna be on stage. So all day you can play your. Oh, yeah. There's so, a lot of time on tour to do oh. other stuff than just play live. I mean, we arrived today at 12 maybe, noon. We can do nothing for four hours now. <laughs> just walking around sound checking. So there's a lot of room. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of time. And what do you expect from uh, tonight's pop, tonight's audience? Uh, nothing but chaos. As usual in Italy, like yesterday and the day before that. Don't do chaos. Italians don't have any, um, what do you call it? There's nothing stopping them. It's total mayhem. And that's why we love coming here. Because you get so much back from the audience, mm -hmm. then you can do a better show as well. Of course. Do you find to. Um I guess Fozzy is uh, opening all your live shows right now in this European tour. Outside of the UK, yeah. Okay. We opened the uh, UK, they opened the rest of the... Mm -hmm. Okay, and... Uh, it's a co-headline. Yeah. So, have you thought, uh, thought about doing something together on stage? Uh, we did. He came out and gave us drinks. Uh, Chris, we have a bar, Super Superbar. We roll out during the last call, so he was a bartender with a with a with a bow. Yeah, okay, tie, I tie understand. Yeah. Uh, he was standing there passing out Jaeger. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do it uh, even tonight? I don't know. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> so uh, talking about the future, which are your next projects? 
what is the ne next album that is called uh, You Can't Kill My Rock and Roll? We'll take it from there. So you, you don't know about uh, later when the album is out? Are you going to do maybe a tour or... Oh yeah, something? of course we're going to tour, but it's, uh, it's still in the... The, main, the tour is being booked as we speak, mm -hmm. so okay. of course we're gonna do a lot of we do a short tour of Sweden with some other bands, and then hopefully we get back to the rest of Europe and uh, the rest of the world as well. Okay, so this is a question that I always made to uh, musicians who uh, are musicians as a professionist. What advice can you give to young musicians or people who want to become great in the music business? That is a very good question. Um, I know what I would have loved to hear when I was starting. Um, focus on what you want to do. Listen to people. Take advices. But do it your own way. So I guess... Um, don't be shy of taking advice from bands that have been around for forever. But, you know, some people are assholes and they're going to give you wrong advice. So, you need to know what to say. Ah, then that doesn't know what to say. And go to the next one. So. Do you think there's uh, any band that you like, new band, I mean, that you like and you uh, would recommend to listen to? I like the last band. Mm -hmm. They're opening up. Well, they're. First is Metal uh, Mayhem and then the last band tonight. Great band. Awesome. Although they should sing in Swedish. <laughs> I'm gonna make them sing. In so you understand the lyrics, but we don't. But they, they, they sing in English now, but I'm gonna make okay. them sing in Swedish. <laughs> awesome. Is there anything that I didn't ask and you'd like to say to Italian fans? Just keep supporting us as you've done for the last 20 years and we'll be coming back. Hope to see you on the next show. Take care. So thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>